How's it going, everyone? Thank you for stopping by. Welcome to a let's look at video of Ship Graveyard Simulator. Is that what it's called? Let me just double check that. Yeah, so Ship Graveyard Simulator. We're going to be taking a let's look at it. It's a little bit of a demo. I mean, it is a little bit of a demo. Demo is a demo. Uh, but uh, there is no, uh, it's no full release quite yet, right? It just is what it is. Uh, the game is not out yet. And is it going to be? Let me see here. Let me see. Is there a release date to this game? There is no release date to this game. Just says sometime in 2021. So quickly, what is a uh, ship graveyard simulator? Visit the largest ship graveyard in the world. A dozen kilometers of beach filled with wrecks. Hundreds of ships wrecked on the coast. Thousands of tons of steel. Choose the most valuable ship for you and start the adventure. Play as one of the workers during the most dangerous work in the dangerous works in the world. A little bit weird on the description there, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah, uh, I, I feel like uh, I've seen um some good reviews on it i haven't seen any plays on it but i've seen some good reviews nonetheless so we're gonna go ahead and give it a try we're gonna let's look at it and see how uh, how in depth this game gets there's a simulator out there for everything yeah absolutely um you already know you really do so and and honestly like people say that like people say that there's simulators for everything and if you don't know, there is going to there is a huge list. Like I want to say, like a hundred, maybe fifty to a hundred simulators still yet to come out uh, in the future here. So that's kind of crazy. So welcome in Ship Graveyard Simulator. We have prepared a short demo with the core features for you to experience. You can scrap two ships and explore the village. Oh, a village. Oh, that's kind of nice. Pre uh, presented state of the game is not finished. You may change in future development. Gameplay. Ships are your main playground. There is a lot to destroy on them, and they can hide many, many secrets. Explore, scrap, and collect. All right, we can do that. In the village, you can find your house, a marketplace. You can, you have a house? That's incredible. Uh, you have oh, you find your house, marketplace, tool shop, and many others. There is more to say, but you need to wait. It's just a demo, of course. So marketplace, tool shop, and upgrading. Okay. Pretty familiar on how that works there so hammer best friend of every ship destroyer highly experienced hammer welder can destroy a uh, wielder sorry wielder can destroy objects with a single hit happy destroying critical points and improve okay so there's critical points that's kind of cool all right yeah let's uh let's jump into oh my lord a lot of things going on here in and and just just the start of it i mean there's a lot of text dialogue and whatnot so here's our trunk i guess we have zero dollars rightfully so uh this is our trunk and i'm assuming this is our pockets here so that's good all right so i guess this is our first ship so it looks like this ship and then maybe that ship are the two ships we have available to us in this demo so i guess we can jump up here right kind of find out how to how to do this so this will give us steel and copper uh it needs a hammer uh where's my hammer <laughs> uh excuse me where 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 would a hammer be if i needed a hammer can I open like the tailgate here? No, no, no. You understand. I, I, I just need a hammer. Ah, yes. Yeah, so just hold Q and that will bring us our hammer. We have a tier one hammer and we have a couple hands. So let's go ahead and pull out the hammer. Start bopping this. Oh, oh my God. Oh, okay. So you see the shiny spots. Of course, that's the, uh, that's the critical spots. Now I wonder if there's a little bit of FOV, right? Let's pick all that stuff up. We got copper. We got some, I guess, metal. Store materials in the card trunk. That's the next thing to do. Let's actually just see. Is there actual an F, uh, FOV here? Uh, yeah, there is. Cool. Let's actually get that, crank that bad boy up all the way to the max and see how that looks now. Oh, nice. All right, so let's go ahead and just follow what the game is asking us to do, which is just shift that all over into the truck. Good stuff. Sell materials in the market by uh, I mean already. I mean, I would kind of want to like keep destroying a few things uh, But if you think I should go, you know elsewhere, I, I will But you know, I would preferably want to get a little bit more. There's a critical hit. There you go. There you are Fantastic. Just pop it Good stuff. Oh More steel looks like carbon. I got did I get carbon? We'll follow what the uh, game wants us to do just so we don't mess up or anything and, you know, get yelled at. So let's go ahead and jump into our truck. Oh, the door opens as well. That's kind of cool. All right. Looks like we have the materials at the market, which the exclamation will be the market. Uh, the house looks like to be our house, believe it or not. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and just pull right on in. How you doing? 
Why, hello! Good to see you! It's a little awkward. <laughs> Hey, dude, how's it going? I would like to... Oh, crap, I need to get everything out of my trunk. Of course, yeah, I can't just come to you empty-handed now, can I? There we go. All right, let's go ahead and sell a little bit of sell to him. I would like to sell you everything I have for $127. Does that sound like a deal? I guess so. So there we go, $127. So buy saw in tool shop. Where's the tool shop? Oh, this is the tool shop. Hello. Uh, do you have a saw for $80? Yeah, I guess you do. So we can expect it. This is our tool or our saw that we want to use and get. Looks like we have a lock pick and a hacksaw. All right, let's go ahead and just buy the hacksaw. So the saw, second best friend of every ship destroyed. Be careful. Cutting can be addicting. Yo, I love addicting. Addicting is my middle name. It doesn't sound very good. Um, cut beams and pipes, but watch out for very sharp blades. Cutting objects will lower efficiency of your saw and reduce damage it deals. Remember to buy new blades in tool shop whenever it's necessary. Oh, you actually have to put a new like blade on there? That's really cool. Get more experience in cutting by investing points in your skill tree. Oh, dude, there's a skill tree in this game too? I'm, I'm on, I, I'll be honest, I'm a little impressed. What is this? Shop upgrade? Tool shop tier one. So we can upgrade it if we had $500, uh, if we had 10 steel, and if we had five copper. It would give us two new tools. All right, that's that's pretty good. So wait, wait, wait. Can I talk to you one more time about that real quick, my man? So steel and copper is something that we would want to have for the upgrade. All right. All right, so now that we've done that, let's buy a new perk in the skill tree using you. Okay. Oh, God. Two car slot, movement speed, inventory slots, hammer speed, sharpness, all that good stuff. Uh, what do I want first? Uh, probably hammer. Just keep it simple, stupid, right? Uh, so hammer damage or the hammered speed. I think I want the hammer speed. So we'll do hammer speed. How many skill points do I have? I still have another one. I could do both speed and uh, damage, I guess. Plus two car slot. I mean, no. Uh, equipment slot, no. Uh, we'll just do speed and damage for our first two expenditures on our um, on that. So let's go ahead and get out of that. Now we have to upgrade the tool shop. So that's the goal right now. So like I said, uh, steel, copper, $500, uh, $500 is what we need to upgrade the tool shop. So we will go ahead and do that. Now we have the big ship right here as an objective. We could definitely go in there and uh, figure out what we need to do. <laughs> um, I don't even know how to board that thing. That thing looks huge, but I kind of want to stick with the small one. I mean, there is probably possible possible things we can get from this still. So I don't want to waste any materials over here at the small boat. Um, yeah, you know, small boats need love too, right? I don't know, dude. Bam. All right, so here we go. Fast. Getting hired. Get higher tool. All right, that's bad. How about this? Can I do this? Oh, yeah, I can because look, it, it shows it needs a two tier or a three tier. Okay, I see, I see. Just need to pay attention to more on that. There we go. I do have to say, if you like destroying things, this is very satisfying. Like, to see the things go crumbling, I like it. I do need to focus a little bit more on the critical spots, of course. There we are. There we are. So, yeah, right now we're just kind of focusing in on, uh, on getting that... Ooh, that materials and that uh, that money. So 10 steel, I believe, in five copper, maybe. Oh, dude, I could be way mistaken for that. But again, we still need 500 to uh, 500 dollars. So we're still going to we're still going to be sitting here trying to get some uh, get some money so far. So good. The game's running pretty smooth. Um, it looks it looks pretty good. I love the damage physics here on on the on the things here. And I like that you can almost, not quite, almost destroy anything. Like, what is that? Aluminum. That's kind of fun, right? I'm trying to think of, like, games that are similar to this, uh, you know, that are appealing. Like, okay, um, like, House Flipper, if you ever played House Flipper or think of House Flipper, I think of, like, when you destroy the walls and when it crumbles, it's kind of satisfying. It really is kind of satisfying, for sure. Oh, yeah. All right, one more whatever the hell this thing is. Oh, it's a rope holder. It tells you what it is. There we go. The more that I know. So stainless steel is what we're getting from this. Whoa. Stainless steel and regular steel. Anything up here? Maybe more, more or less the same, right? Gold scrap. Spicy. Anything inside? <gasps> Long box. Need to buy a lockpick. Nice. 
another wooden box. And an oh, dude, there's three boxes in here that we just absolutely need. Uh, just plain and simple. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, lock picks. Okay, copper. This is what we need. So let's go ahead and grab some copper. Now I wonder. No, we can't pull up the shop upgrade uh, requirements that we need. But I think this might do what we need to do as far as like what we need for the shop upgrade. I will continue. Like, I don't need to use my saw quite yet, I don't think, because I, I think certain things will tell me what I need to use my saw on. Like how this tells me I need to use a a hammer, but let's let's actually ch check here just to make sure. Yeah, this this that don't do. <laughs> that don't do, dude. Holy crap. I love how that piece just comes off. All right, so that's good. That's copper that we needed. No more space in the inventory. This is bad. What is this? Another box, dude. So we have four boxes on this ship that need to be taken care of. All right. Well, first things first, what we can do is we can come down here. We can see everything over there. So gold. Okay, so not enough copper. No, we won't have enough copper uh, to get our shop upgrade because I think we need 10 steel and five copper. What is this? Cast iron? Yeah. Um, we have enough steel. Yeah, we do have enough steel. We just don't have enough copper here. But we have some gold, so that's going to give us some money that maybe we can get, like, a lockpick going on. And if we get a lockpick going on, uh, look, I'm coming back with a lockpick, and I'm picking four boxes. I'll tell you what. All right, let's go ahead and drive back to the marketplace. Get some, uh, well, sell some things and get some, uh, what is it? knowledge i guess on the shop upgrade just to double check to make sure what it actually is i kind of want to see what the house is all about can you like decorate your house or how does that work maybe you skip the the daylight in the nighttime with that so i don't want to accidentally sell my copper and steel well the requirement steel that i need so let's let's can i like drag and drop cool i can drag and drop so copper will leave um stainless steel i think we can send that off lead send that off aluminum send it off cast iron send it off like i said i think we need 10 steel so we'll keep 10 steel there we'll do that we'll do that keep the copper there and that and that all right so that should be good now double check hello my man uh shop upgrade 10 steel five copper all right we were correct on that good stuff good good memory i usually have a bad memory but thankfully i I pulled through there. $651 already. If we had the copper, we could upgrade the shop right away. All right, good. We done did that. Uh, but do you sell lockpick? You do sell lockpick, my man. I would like to buy a lockpick from you. Uh, ooh, okay. So it looks like maybe like a Skyrim Fallout kind of dealio. I hope so. I hope that's what it is because it's almost universal now in any lockpick game, except, except for one game, Kingdom Come Deliverance. One of my favorite games to play, but oh my god, the lock picking in that game is awful. They did not take the Skyrim approach to it. That's all right. It is what it is. It's very hard to do on a controller. I tell you what. Well, let's go to these four boxes. I don't know what to expect in these boxes. Like, are they going to have materials? Are they going to have um, uh, money? I don't know, dude. I don't know. Dude, looking at like the, how many like different things that are is this like is there something like this in real life where like ships just go to like be dismantled? Is this something like real life? Like there's a special couple special coasts, uh, beaches that take you know ships that are going retired or out of commission or something. I don't know. All right, so here we go. Uh, oh, okay. Wait a sec. Oh, that's exactly like. <laughs> That is exactly like Skyrim and al or not alcohol. My God, that is alcohol, but it's like Skyrim in, in Fallout. I like that. See, why couldn't Kingdom Come Deliverance do something this simple, right? There we go. Yo, copper. All right, so that's four copper. We just need one more copper then. I'm glad that you get materials from these two. At least it's not all like gimmicks. Okay. Easy. Oil, oil, steel, cast iron, cast iron. Still got one more chest and hope that we get a, get at least one more copper piece right here. Fingers crossed. We need the co copper. Oh my god. Oil. All right. I've been disappointed before in my life. 
And it looks like that is the that is the case here. Am I worried about that? This little stuff? No. I mean, if if I need to get it, I can come back and get it. But I'm not worried about it at all. Um, probably those you know useful items or useful material. Oh, dude, there's a ladder. Oh, dude, let's just park the truck behind that ladder though. Those useful like more blue, I guess, highlighted items. Is there a rearview mirror? Because I cannot see where I'm going. Uh, it would probably be useful uh, for upgrading tools. So just keep that in mind. There we go. Just kind of do all that. Shift that over. Look like there's a nice little ladder here. Let's go up to this bad boy and start dismantling this thing. Hello, I am here. It looks like you are the same steel post I am not looking for. You are the droid I am not looking for. Uh, oil, steel, petroleum. I, I don't need that either. I just need copper. Just give me some copper and I'll be on my way. Thank you very much. Hello. Yeah, does it look like this pole has copper? Come on, forehead. What are you doing? What is this? Oh, more oil? What is that? Petroleum? Yeah, petroleum. Oh, yeah, it looked like petroleum. Now did it. <laughs> um, I'm looking for copper, dude. Oh, it's getting a little dark now. A little creepy. Stainless steel. Cool. Petroleum. I mean, we're kind of just like looting this this boat now. Just let me sneak. Okay, well, that's fine. Cast iron? No. Just give me copper. Oh, I think I found it. There it is. There's the copper. All right. Now we can actually go and upgrade our shop. And we have stuff to sell, too. So, uh, you know, $500 isn't going to be a big deal. I think we have 500 Yeah, we have $578. Yeah, so let's go ahead and upgrade our shop so that we can unlock two new tools. Because I want to see what other tools you can use in this game. You can use a hacksaw. You can use a... Oh, can I actually use the ladder? So I don't kill myself? Yes, you can. I mean, is there fall damage? There isn't. <laughs> That's all right. It is getting late in the day. The sun is going down. So maybe we can sleep the night away, hopefully. I hope that's the case. I don't like playing in the dark. Not because, well, no, not because I'm afraid of the dark. I'm not afraid of the dark. It's, it's more or less uh, the footage comes out very dark and YouTube just hates it being dark. It is what it is. All right, there we go. Uh, marketplace? No. No, no, no. We want upgrade. So let's go ahead and grab this. Yeah, let's grab the steel, right? Grab the steel. And let's grab... Yo! What are you talking... Okay, there's the, the copper. All right, I almost flipped my lid there for a sec, as you might have saw. I was like, how did we not have enough? All right, so here we go. Shop upgrade. Yes, I would like to do this. Now, does it change? It should, right? Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Oh, dude, look it. Nice. And now you got the angle grinder and the steel hammer. Oh, baby. Now, I will be able to upgrade to the steel hammer because uh, I will have enough resources to do so. So let's just get everything that we can and let's just like sell it. Yeah, let's sell it all. Bam. $537. Send it my way, baby. Thank you. Appreciate it. So what will an angle grinder do? Fantastic question. I do not have the answer to. Can we buy all this actually right now? No, we can only buy one. Um, so the angle grinder, I don't know, dude. I... Does it show anything? Electric saw to cutting hard metals. I kind of want to get the steel hammer. Let's buy the steel hammer. Yeah, there we go. Steel hammer. There we go. So we have the steel hammer. We have some level up, I believe, as well. A torch, a mop. There's a mop and a torch. My lord. So what can we do? We can do a car slot, inventory slot, saw damage, max sharpness. Honestly, we haven't used the saw quite yet. Maybe I'll wait on that until we, you know, have to use our saw. Can we go to our house and, like... Say hello to the wife and kids. Well, it's probably not a place for them. You can use the computer. Not implemented in the demo. All right. That's okay. But I would like to use the bed. Finish your tasks first. Don't yell at me, mom. Okay. <clears throat> find a way to store room. Wait. Find a way to the storeroom. Maybe the storage room? All right. So we'll do that. Uh, and then find and scrap the engine and then go home. That's the end of the demo. <laughs> I like how, like, clean, cut, and dry it is. It's like, find your way to the storage room, find the scrap engine room, and then go home so we can tell you to get out of here, dude. I respect it. I get it. You have a job to do. You have to finish the game, right? I get it. Don't worry. You know, this is just the demo after all. 
I would love if you guys gave me like a, uh, I don't know, flashlight or a head torch. I'll be all for that. We're about to find out, dude. It's about to get dark. Quick. All right, let's find the stairs here. Uh, what? Is it second floor? I hope it's the second floor. Uh, ooh, there's a lot of copper there. It looks like it's the third floor. Good God. So the handsaw would have gave us a bunch of copper there. That's all right. I do apologize for how dark it is getting. A little bit out of my control. I will go faster. Oh, God, it's about to get real dark. Blocked from the other side. How dare you? Oh, oh, you can get through with the... Oh, cool. So we can actually bust through the wall? That... Oh, I see you, game. I see you. So as you see, this is going to need a saw, an angular saw, to, to, to get inside there. Okay, I see. Uh, so the demo likes to do a little <laughs> back and forth. All right. What about from the other side? Can it just like, that should be a thing. Just bop it, right? Oh, oh, maybe we can do this. Maybe this will get us to the other side. Oh, no, this gets us to a bunch of stuff. I wonder if those are like placements or if that's like, oh, God. Like the boxes are the placements or if that's just how they're going to leave it in the game. They're very really highlighted. They're really highlighted in like a lot of colors. Like a bunch of cubes. Looks like I'm going to need the angular saw after all. Which isn't too bad. Because look. I can go buy it right now. I should have enough to buy it. And just to double check. Like I can just pop this real quick. Hit it in the crit. Hit it in the crit. Okay. Don't hit it at all. <laughs> there we go. There we are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's just hit one more. For good measure. Okay, now we should be able to... Uh, ooh, I'll pick that up. Now we should be able to uh, get the angler saw. Because apparently we're going to need the saw to get into the storeroom. Which, I like that the demo is kind of forcing us to use all the tools. I do like that. So let's go all the way over here. Let's not crash into anything. Is there like a... No, we can't turn on the lights in the car. That's a bummer. Hello, Jack. I'm back. It is dark, but hello. I like to buy an... Oh, I can't buy anything because I need to sell my stuff first. Hold on, Jack. Marketplace. Send it. And gold. You better be buying, dude. $800. Woo. We have $1,100 to go with us. Let's go ahead and buy the saw. There we go. Fantastic. All right. Let's head back to the storage room. Now we should be able to do just fine <laughs> getting into the storage room. Again, it's very, very, very dark. I apologize, guys. Uh, but it is what it is. Is there, like, headlight? I hit H for headlights, but H is actually horn. All right. Get out. There we are. I can't even see the freaking ladder now. There it is. <laughs> All right. Hopefully this is, like, the darkest it gets. I don't know. I can't... Maybe. I mean, it is midnight, so... Maybe this is the darkest it gets. Hopefully it gets bright soon. Bright soon? Maybe it never gets dark here. Maybe we're living in Alaska. Fully dark. Sorry. I mean, it is dark, but maybe fully dark. This... I... Stairs. There we go. Okay. Which way? This way? Okay, this is gonna be tough for me. Just as much as you. I can't see what I'm exactly doing. But let's go ahead and pull out the grinder. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, this is kind of cool. There isn't like a set spot where I need to or like I can't have a custom spot. It seems like it's a set spot. I don't, I don't think I can have a custom spot. Like what if I wanted to just cut it from the back here? Okay, maybe I can. That's really cool. Okay, I think I could just... Oh, I guess I can't just walk through. Guess I'm not at that level yet. We'll just cut it in the half there. And we'll kind of cut it from the side. That should fall on one side. And then the other side. Very good. Very, very good. Cool. 
This is kind of cool. I like this one a lot. Okay. Holy crap. I didn't even know I was clicking on a box. Okay, just let me in. Oh, no. So close. Not close enough. There we go. Okay, cool. I opened up the safe. Looks like it has a little bit of something. More like alcohol. Okay. What? Okay, find and scrap the engine. Alright, so now that we are done with the storage room, there's another chest. I'll be honest with you, not, not worth it. <laughs> I mean, this... I mean, I guess, like, in regular gameplay, like, this would be worth it, right? Oh, yeah, find all the loot, you know, and, like, get... You know what? We could probably put that away. Get all the loot and everything, and and get as much money as you could uh but like for demo sake sake it's like not worth it because we've already gotten everything that we needed now trying to find the stairs to get off this thing thank you now hopefully it's not too hard to find the engine room i don't know i don't even know how you would get to the engine room it's too damn dark can you actually use like there's no option to use a light right hang on a sec i gotta see this controls um handbrake no i would like to use a flashlight oh my god dude this is the greatest day of my life all right cool now most of you people that have probably seen this game or have played this game yourselves you're probably yelling at me like hey dummy uh yeah you can have a flashlight just use the flashlight i'm so glad we found a flashlight lock pick our way into the engine room this is kind of like another safe spot or like another uh, blockage where it's like you had to go and buy the lockpick. Luckily, we already did that. So there we go. So here's the engine. Looks like we have to scrap the engine. What do we have to use? A hammer? Okay. I guess just bop it now, right? The ultimate goal. Getting rid of the engine. Nice. Dropping some good stainless steel. There we go. Now, how cool would it be if, like, in the regular game, like, you could build, you know, the village out, um, you know, do more with... Oh. Oh, that needs a saw. Oh, I see. Uh, build the village out, right? Uh, maybe even build your house out a little bit more? How cool would that be? I think that'd be kind of cool. Pop that. Electric box. There we go. Nice. Am I worried about those things? No, I'm not worried about it. I would be worried about it if this was a regular game. I'd be like, whoa, there's a lot of inventory on the ground that we need to get. Or a lot of items. But right now, we're just bopping this thing to, to smithereens. There we go. All right, so now let's switch to the saw. <laughs> All right, so this should, right? Maybe I'm not ready for this quite yet. Unless I need to be on the bottom. Don't tell me I need to bop those. Oh, maybe I just need to be closer. Ah, I just need to be closer. I see. Okay. Let's go ahead and chop this up. Oh, baby. Now that should fall, right? Oh, there we go. Cool. Yeah, so I'll go around and I'll uh, saw everything off here. And uh, I, w I won't make you watch me do this like... 10 times, uh, but I'll, I'll bring it back when we're done here. All right, as you can see, I have completely finished the entire bottom of this engine. I guess this is the aftermath of it. There's nothing really else I can do much more to the engine. I've kind of already looked around here, but you can see how much potential resources you could have had at the end of uh, you know, at the end of this uh, engine, I mean, this, that's a lot of resources, man. You could probably sell that for quite a bit. Uh, unfortunately, we just can't grab any because we're kind of full. And look how much stuff there is in here. Man, you could make a lot of money off this big ship. I really tell you what. You go in here, like, by yourself, right? You'd be making a lot of money. Okay, I guess this is still time for flashlight time. Yeah, so now the next thing that we have to do is just go home, I guess, and end and the demo. So I, I'm kind of curious to see, do we just fall asleep uh, i mean what what possibly else could happen right i don't know can we have the flashlight on when we're in the truck or like you know maybe oh dude there is flashlight is f I, you know i was pressing l 
I guess there is headlights to the truck. Again, people yelling at me. I figured it out. <laughs> I figured it out. Thank you so much. Um, let's go ahead and come on over here. Oh, and pull up. Get our little, uh, you know, Pizza Planet truck there and walk on in. And this shall be the end of it. So as you can see, yeah, this is the end. But you can kind of get an idea of what's here to come. So what's coming to Ship, Ship Graveyard Simulator? Hiring workers to work for you. That is cool. Dismantling whole parts of the ship. So maybe the whole big, big bones of it. Combining and melting materials. Interesting to figure out what that does. Uh, different tasks to be done. New ways to develop your character. Awesome. New tools for more possibilities to destroy the ships. Probably new tools so that you can take down bigger parts of the ship. New buildings and upgrades. And big variety of ships to unlock. So as you can see, there's a ton of different kinds. It'd be kind of cool, but I don't know, maybe sensitive to some. But like, what if you could have like a replica of like the Titanic or something? That'd be kind of cool. But anyways, this has been the demo. That was Ship Graveyard Simulator. Kind of fun. I was having some fun with it. I am in, in, I am interested to see how the game is at full release or maybe early access release to see what else more we could do in the game. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit that like. If you want to see more content by me, make sure to hit that subscribe. We have a lot of it. All right. Do take care. This is for all of you, not just a song to listen to. Something to give you hope to hang on to. I'll your pocket full of